What's up guys, I did help here and Apple has officially released iOS 10 worldwide. All supported devices are going to be in the video description down below. Now if you want to update, all you have to do is go into settings, general software updates and you'll get prompted to update your device directly from your settings application. In this video, I'm going to show you guys what are some of the new changes with an iOS 10 if you haven't been following my beta coverage. More information of course is going to be on those beta coverage. I'll have an entire playlist down below if you want to know more information in this video is going to be a quick glance of some of the new things you can expect with an iOS 10. Let's begin. First, let's talk about the lock screen. No more slide to unlock. If you swipe to the right, you're now going to get a widgets panel. This is going to give you widgets for the weather, tips, series suggestions, news, music, and all kinds of new widgets that you can add to the section here. If you swipe back, it's going to bring you here to the main page here on the lock screen. Swipe to the right and now you get your camera. So no longer will you have to swipe from the bottom to reveal your camera. Now you have to swipe to the right. To unlock your device from the lock screen, you now have to press on the Touch ID button and enter your passcode. If you don't have Touch ID, you're going to have to press on the home button every time and enter your passcode to unlock your device. If you do have Touch ID, just simply press on the home button and it will unlock your device using Touch ID. Now those of you who don't want to press on the home button can go to General, Accessibilities and scroll down to where you have the home button options. You now have a new option to rest finger to open. This is going to allow you to simply rest your finger to unlock your device with a Touch ID device without having to press on the home button. iOS 10 also brings the new emojis. You're going to see tons of new emojis in here including female athletes, the water gun. All the new emojis that have been added to iOS 10 are going to be available with the first update and the new look for the emojis you're going to notice as well. Apple also added the ability to press and hold and remove stock applications. Things like the music application, stocks app, notes app. These applications a lot of people don't use. You can now hide them. You're not removing them from your device but you're hiding them. Keep in mind I've deleted here the calculator calculator you can see here in the control center it's no longer accessible but if I go into the app store I can search here for Apple apps and once I type Apple I can go ahead and scroll through all the applications that Apple has to offer including those stock applications that you can hide now as you can see there are the music application maps if I want to get that calculator app back onto my device all I have to do is scroll down find the calculator application and install it back on my device just press the download and it's going to appear back on my device and I can use it again but keep in mind if you remove or hide those it's going to be temporarily removed from the OS itself on the home screen you're going to find the widgets panel here to your left if you scroll all the way down you can click on the edit button here and this is going to allow you to place these widgets anywhere you want you can also disable them by clicking on the red button there add additional widgets that are available down here to this list again and relocate those to whatever position you wish third-party applications will have access to this as well so for example if you download the ESPN application you can add a sports widget right there to your widgets panel if you swipe from the top you'll get all your notifications and on the left of that you get all your widgets as well on that particular section swiping from the bottom of course is going to bring the new control center the new look as you can see here we have all our toggles the brightness control the airplay the airdrop you also have your nice shift button 3d touch devices can now 3d touch on these extensions for example the flash right there you can change the intensity again 3d touch devices can do that same thing here for the timer you can set different timers directly from there the camera application also gives you additional options if you swipe to the right you have all your music controls right below that you can tap and change the audio output source as well if you have additional Bluetooth speakers and things like that if you want to add an additional widget that's not available on your widgets list all you have to do is press and hold right there 3d touch on a particular application that offers the widget and right there you have an add widgets you can tap on there and that's going to add a widget to that section there again other applications are going to be adding widgets to this particular section as more applications get updated to support iOS 10 I want to quickly talk about some of the new applications inside of iOS 10 or applications that have gotten the largest update right here inside of the photos application you now if you tap on albums you now have a people option this is going to allow to detect the faces of people and set all those pictures to that section there so if I tap here the person is going to show me all the pictures for that person you also have your memories tab this is based out of locations as you see here it says places if you go on vacation it's going to track your location if you allow it to and create a memory based on location you don't have to do anything it's going to gather it itself and create a slideshow of that event for you and you can later save that to your computer you can tap on an image and right down here you now have a new button that allows you to choose a markup now this is going to allow you to draw 
on any image just like so and create any custom images on your device and send those and share those tons of options available on that section as well you can dig around with all those settings but this was a very very quick first look at some of the new options available inside of the photos applications there's so much going on inside of this application and I go into more details in that on my beta coverages which is going to be in the video description down below the Maps application also received a major update. So you can now request a ride with Uber. You can also book a reservation and do all kinds of cool things with inside the Maps application without leaving the application. So tons of updates available in the Maps application. I'm sure you guys are going to love that. Health has also been updated with activities, nutrition, and sleep and things like that you can track for your health. You can dig around these settings. It's going to give you tons of information. You can set up your medical ID on the new health application to keep track of your health and different elements of your health as well. Tons of information inside of that app. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it as well. You have your HomeKit application. This is to manage all your HomeKit enabled devices, things like light bulb, thermostat, things that are connected to your network at home. It's going to allow you to control all those in one place. You also have the Apple TV that you can hook up to this and control it. So use the Apple TV as a hub for all your automated systems. So when you're away from your house, you can go ahead and control it using your Apple TV directly from your iOS device. Of course, all those settings you will have to allow through your settings applications for the HomeKit privacy section under the privacy sections for HomeKit right here you'll manage all those particular sections as well next I want to give you guys a quick look at the messages application I'll have a dedicated video specifically for the messages application because there's so much going on this application probably got the most update out of any application with an iOS 10 quickly giving you a quick glance of what you can do you can tap on this arrow here you have access to your camera swiping to the left gives you different camera settings you can choose a photo from your camera roll directly from there and once you choose the photo you want you can go ahead and press and hold on the send button before you send and now you have a new option here which is called invisible ink gentle loud or slam now these options you can go ahead and adjust right there as you can see but you also have an additional option here it says screen so you can send a happy birthday you can swipe one more time you also have confetti swipe again you get a laser show swipe again you get fireworks so depending on which section or which effect you want to send within the messages application is going to be really cool so if I want to send invisible ink like that this message is going to be invisible to the person once they receive the message they can go ahead and swipe on the message to reveal the photo just like that as you can see they're very very cool stuff again you can also swipe to the right and select a picture and tap and hold on it and you can click on the markup this is going to allow you to draw on that picture and do whatever it is that you wish and then send it along you can go ahead and change that back you can also tap and hold and bring it here to the conversation thread as well now if I tap here on the digital touch this section here is also new you can go ahead and scribble on this section here you can go ahead and send that scribble you can go full screen on this particular section change the color you can take a picture and scribble on it from right then and there you can also tap and hold with two fingers to send your heartbeat you can double tap or tap with two fingers to send a kiss very self-explanatory right here on the right side of the screen you can see it gives you information on how everything works but it's just very very cool stuff happening here in the messages application and the last tab I want to share with you guys is going to be uh, custom signatures at the bottom left you also have additional options here for Apple music and images for the images tab is going to allow you to send gifts this is going to allow you to send gifts you can also search gifts as well from the section go ahead and send those you can go full screen by tapping on the arrow there bring it back down you can also go ahead and download additional extensions for this messages application this is an app store dedicated to the messages application and you can download specific stickers and as you can see that I got the Mario ones I can send those stickers right there very very cool stuff this is an app store dedicated to the messages application you can also choose all those effects like the invisible ink you can also choose with this message application and send those out just like that again guys the messages application received one of the largest updates I got a full video on that application you can check it out in the description down below let's go ahead and move on to some of the additional options inside of settings if you go to the display and brightness options you now find the auto lock this option has been moved to the section here you determine here how long your display is on until it starts dimming and going back to sleep now if you have an iPhone SE iPhone 6s or 6s plus you'll have the rise to wake option if you enable this it's very self-explanatory you can put your device down and when you bring it back up 
it's going to turn on the display without you having to press on any buttons whatsoever you can turn that on or off here is the night shift option on this particular section as well everything is kind of very compact a lot of things happening in this section as well you may also notice the siri options is available on this section as well you have siri app support for third-party apps siri can now use uh, third-party applications to send messages so whatsapp and things like that you can now tell siri to send messages using those apps instead of using the apple standard iMessages application so tons of updates to siri as well 3d touch devices now have additional 3d touch options including on folders you can see there i can rename the folder by 3d touching if you have notifications when you 3d touch on a folder all the apps with notifications will pop up on this section there as well other additional options inside of the clocks application is a new bedtime so you can track your sleep right there you can set alarms to go to bed and wake up and also keep track of how many hours you sleep now ios 10 also gives you a different sound when you put your device to sleep it's going to take a while for you to get used to this so you can see there sounds a lot different from before so it's going to take you a while to kind of get used to that it's just minor updates but it is uh, something that's new within ios 10 as well unfortunately no new wallpapers available for this ios 10 updates i don't see why apple didn't add any new wallpapers not even 3d touch or live wallpapers for the iphone 6s or 6s plus again guys this was a very quick look at some of the new features available within ios 10 these are some of the most noticeable that you'll notice right away after you install the software again if you want to watch every single new feature that ios 10 has to offer i have the entire playlist of all the beta coverages in the description down below so you guys can get more additional information on ios 10 if you wish to do so i hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy ios 10 let me know if you're going to be updating your device if you're jailbroken are you going to remove your jailbreak to update to ios 10 let me know in the comments section down below i hope you guys have a great day and i will catch you guys on the next one peace